we are rolling, we are going, let's do this. Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I'm really excited that you're here today because we're talking about my hair, my long locks. It has been such a journey. I'm not gonna do a hair journey video or anything, but let me tell you guys a little bit about my hair. So um, I like love experimenting with my hair. I don't know if you guys know that because you haven't really seen like the span of my life, but my freshman year of high school, I actually chopped off all my hair. I had a buzz cut. Mm, it was just like not the best time. You know when you're going through something and you just think, I should just shave my head. That's what I was going through. So um, I went through that phase. I dyed my hair black. I've dyed my hair brown. I've dyed my hair blonde. You guys have seen me blonde on my channel, actually. Um, that was just crazy to me that I even had that kind of hair. Um, but now I'm 23, I have naturally straight black hair. It doesn't hold curls that amazingly. I have to put a lot of product in it. I can't shower, like at least I can't wash my hair for a couple of days for it to hold um, curls really well and kind of give me the texture that I want. Um, my hair is natural. I have no color in it right now. Like I have cut off all of the, um, the dyed hair, like the dead hair from when I dyed it I have like maybe a little bit left like at the ends of my hair but for the most part like my hair is my prized possession it just is like the most natural I've been in so long with my hair and I'm just really happy to have it that's a little bit much I feel like okay that's enough talking about how much I love my hair but because I love my hair so much I thought that I would share with you guys a really low maintenance easy natural hair care routine just because I know what it's like to use products that actually make your hair a lot more oily than it needs to be, a lot more disgusting, feel dry, feel just like starchy and just not cute, um, especially when you have just like your natural hair texture. I feel like there's not enough hair education about ingredients and about products that are available, things that you should use, um, ways to style your hair without, you know, all this crazy stuff. Like I feel like there's just not enough information out there. So that's why today I've partnered with Playa Beauty to share with you guys um, just like a really low maintenance hair care routine as well as some easy styles that you can maintain over the course of a couple of days um, just to fit your lifestyle. I know some of you guys are students. I'm a student as well. We don't have time to be like zhuzhing and like doing our hair every morning. I literally woke up out of bed, sprayed a few products and this is what happened. Um, so I if you guys are interested in seeing how I do my hair, how I get my hair to look like this, um, and the products that I've been using lately, please keep on watching. So let's talk about shampoo and conditioner. Um, of course, this is two steps that no one should ever skip. And I'm going, and I've been going back to that routine of just not washing my hair um, over the course of like two days or three days at a time. Just because, again, you guys already all know this, but shampooing your hair every single day it just strips away the oil I mean I do it too when I need to um, but if you're going to do that you might as well use good products while you're doing it so I love the the everyday shampoo and conditioner super easy super gentle the shampoo has coconut water sugar beet extract I mean it has some really natural ingredients my favorite part about the Playa line is that it doesn't have SLS's in it doesn't have parabens doesn't have sulfates I mean it's just pretty much the cleanest it could be and it's also cruelty cruelty free wow I don't know how to say anything I'll squeeze a bit out into my hand um, but I won't scrub it like with my nails I read this in a magazine once but you should be rubbing your hair like really gently with your fingertips when you're shampooing your hair like this versus like scratching your hair um, because you're just opening up so many pores and because most likely you're washing your hair with slightly warmer or hotter water you're opening opening up a lot of the pores in your head. And so when you're scratching away at your scalp, not only are you creating more like 
you know, dead skin to come off of your hair, um, but you're just creating more oil production later on. So um, it's really important to just use your fingertips and be super gentle. And then as for the conditioner, I love taking this just right around the ends. Um, I used to be a fan of like sh conditioning my whole head because I love the way that it felt so like slip slippery and silky in the shower. Um, but I realized like that is so not good for your hair to just like throw a ton of conditioner on. And um, a lot of times, a lot of people are like the ratio between my shampoo and conditioner is always uneven, but it's because you're not actually supposed to be using that much conditioner per shampoo, if that makes sense. So um, just use it at the ends of your hair, just like right, maybe like here down, run it through with your fingers and um, just wait till it kind of gets all, all in the hair. You'll definitely see a difference in oil production if you have been conditioning your roots. You don't wanna do that, just keep it down below, maybe here to the, to the bottom of your hair. Once I get out of the shower, I love using this Ritual Nourishing Oil. When I dyed my hair blonde, my hair stylist, she told me how important it is that I would go in with a good oil just to moisturize my hair because um, when you dye your hair, when you bleach it, you're really stripping away your hair so that you can absorb the color, right? And so when you use an oil, you're really just replenishing the dryness. Um, if you've dyed your hair before, you know, you'll know you know what I'm talking about feel like hay straws and it's just a nightmare so um, I love this Playa one the ritual hair oil for it's super lightweight but what I love the most about it is it has UV protection in it I think that's really cool you guys know I'm I am like an SPF evangelist and um, the fact that a hair product like a hair oil has UV protection in it just blows my mind it's so innovative and it makes a lot of sense because our hair is touching the Sun or like our hair is being touched by the sun all the time. Uh, I do like running it through the bottoms of my hair primarily, and then I'll just take the extra and just kind of like run my, my fingers through my hair, and I do this when my hair is damp. So the day after you wash your hair, typically um, I don't style my hair the day that I wash it. I'll always style it like the day after. So the first day after I've washed my hair, um, I like to style it then just because my hair has now gotten a chance to settle into the style. It's gotten a chance to just kind of like gain its own natural texture and body. Um, so that's when I really like to go in and style. I like styling with a lot of different tools. Typically I'll use like my T3 micro and like do waves. In, in a previous hair video I shared that I don't really like using hairspray. I don't really like using a lot of products because I can feel the buildup in my roots. Like I can just feel it with my fingers and to be honest like it's not the best feeling like even dry shampoo after a while you can just feel the grime in your hair so I just really like I don't love the feeling so the day after I wash my hair I kind of go in at the roots and I just touch it with the earth clay the soft volume powder um, it has earth clay in it and it the powder it's so lightweight I love using this I've been loving using this over dry shampoo because with dry shampoo like I said sometimes I get even more oily if that makes sense and the powder does a way better job at just like absorbing it but not just absorbing it but feeling really lightweight at the same time um, so if you have dark hair like I do um, I haven't found that it's like shown through like a gray cast or anything crazy like I don't have any like weird color in my hair or anything like that like it's absorbed really well and it um, you rub it in until it becomes translucent or clear in your hair um, and it's just done such a good job at like keeping my hair feeling really lightweight really just natural and it does feel like I just washed my hair like even though I washed my hair two days ago it feels like I just washed it um, because uh, the clay has been doing a good job at absorbing the oils um, and then in terms of when I style my hair or even when I don't um, I love this spray like out of all of these products I think the the new day mint 
mist is definitely one of my favorites. So the whole idea with this style, just like how you would set your makeup with a setting spray at the end, or even if you wanted to refresh your makeup, you would typically use a setting spray. And I love that they have that for your hair as well. I didn't even know like half of these products existed. And again, that's what I mean by I just wish there was a little bit more education, a little bit more conversation about hair care that's natural, cruelty free, and just easy to use. Like this is super low maintenance. If you have like a natural style or you did get your hair done or you curled your hair, but you're like, I hate like curling it all the time or I just want it to look alive the next day, spray some of this in there, just ch -ch 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 -ch, and you're good to go. It's literally like the name that it says, New Day Mist. It just makes your hair look alive again. I already sprayed it in today and like the product smells so good. They just smell so natural. Let's say you had a curl, you spray this in there. You'll just mold the wave back in after you've curled it. Like literally you could take a finger, you could take like your pencil or whatever, I don't know, but you can just mold the curl back to how it was. And like literally you'll get the curl, you'll get your curls back. So I'll take my fingers and I'll just kind of squeeze it and scrunch it to just get back to its shape um, and then it brings it back to life honestly that's what that's it's literally so simple and then um, just to add more body and volume I will use the sea salt spray so you can use this on damp or dry hair um, again this is primarily I would use just if I'm doing waves just to give me that really beachy like what I have today something just really natural really like effortless looking um, nothing too crazy and glam but this is just a good everyday hairstyle for me um, and I just like spraying some of the sea salt spray just to get that kind of texture PC look in there um, just because again my hair is so thick it's all one length it's all like one color so you can't really see the texture that much um, but when I put the sea salt spray in it just gives it like that extra kind of like worn in look that it needs just to look extra like effortless if that makes sense and super minimal so that's kind of literally that's the extent of my hair routine um, again I think the most important part comes from shampoo and conditioner as long as you're using a really really solid shampoo and conditioner you feel like all the products after that are gonna be fine as long as you're really the thing that touches your scalp and the, the thing that's touching your scalp and what you're rubbing into your head you really want to make sure that that's a really good product for you it's healthy for you it's not taking any Anything away it's not ruining your hair it's not you know seeping into your brain cells I don't think that's even scientifically possible but you guys know what I mean I always think about that too so I think when it comes to shampoo and conditioner just always use a really good product be gentle with your hair um, and then with the styling products I hope this helped you guys because for me like I'm not really high maintenance when it comes to my hair I like it to be super easy I like it to be super fast um, I like being able to throw my hair up in a bun bring it back down and have it be like very like just got out of bed kind of a look um, and all of these products really helped me achieve that so so that's the end of this video um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up I had so much fun filming all of that b-roll and stuff I really hope you guys enjoyed like the aesthetic as well um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please subscribe down below I make new videos every Monday Wednesdays and Fridays and that is the end of today's video I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.